This video is going to show you how to restrict a student to just one website or a website with multiple links from it. So how are we going to do that? We're going to come up here to a re restrictions and go to internet profiles. We're going to add a new profile. We're going to add a rule. When we add a rule, we're going to say that we want to enable a website. When we do this, we enter the domain name. Let's say that I want students to be able to get to our Moodle at the school district, but no other sites. I am going to put a star so that they can get to anything within our courses. And I'm going to go to courses.gfps.k12.mt.us. That will allow them to get to anything here. If I say they can get to anything at GFPS, I'm going to leave that wild card there and anything with the gfps.k12.mt.us will be enabled and everything else disabled. You'll notice right here it explains permits access to the specified website. Please note that www.domain.com, forum.domain.com, and domain.com are different domains and should be added separately. Specify name as stardomain.com for managing access to all websites where domain.com is present in the name. So that gives you an idea of how to use that little wild card. And then you would just add, add this rule and then save your rule and it's going to ask you to give a name to this rule um, GFPS web sites only and I'm going to save it and I am going to see that now it's right here so now how do I get it to work on a particular student? So I'm going to cancel this right now and I'm going to pick a student's computer where I want that to run then I'm going to come up here to my restrictions to my internet profiles. I'm going to find that profile and I'm going to send and run it to that computer. And now that computer can only go to those websites. Um, I And that might only work in Internet Explorer, so you might need to disable Chrome and Firefox in here if it isn't working right. And uh, my other video shows you how to do that. But I'm going to come up here and now I'm going to go back to my internet profiles because I want to enable full access now for that computer and send and run and now that computer does have full access. So um, use the other one for disabling programs and you'll be good to go.